lie, and we do it prolifically as a, as a culture, and we do it prolifically as individuals. We create a false sense of reality. We begin to live in that false sense of reality. We begin to accept that that false sense of reality is what we should be living up to be. We therefore get confused about who God is and who we are and who we are supposed to be. We love our lives wandering around thinking to ourselves, who am I? What am I supposed to be? Who am I supposed to be like? What am I supposed to look like? How strong am I supposed to be? How buff should I be? How beautiful should I be? What shoe size should I have? Um, what dress should I be wearing? Or trousers? And um, otherwise, and we, we, we end up living in a completely false reality and we lose ourselves, which is why so many people are depressed because they don't think they live up to the standards that have been placed on them. So many people are struggling with mental health problems because of all the paranoia about whether they're good enough and whether they're not good enough and I should be like this and I should be like that. And all of these false realities have been created when Christ has chosen you, Christ loves you, it's not about trying to live up to somebody else's standards, he loves you anyway, it's not about trying to be sinless and perfect because he loves you as you are, he redeems you, he saves you, you can only have faith in him and he will transform you through the power of his spirit and it doesn't matter to him how mucky and dirty or ugly you think you are, doesn't whether you're an adulterer now or you were an adulterer in the past, whether you're a liar now or a liar in the past, still now, still in the past, are you getting this? Stop lying. Speak the truth. See who you are in Christ. The truth sets you free. Sets you free from that huge weight of expectation you have placed on yourself that should not be there. And Christ wants to kick it to touch. Now, over the years of being a pastor and hating lying, my biggest hope and dream is that people get set free. That people get set free to be what God made them to be. And so, so often I see people who hang their heads in shame, don't feel like they're good enough to come to church. And some of you will be thinking, oh, I'm a horrible person right now. You need to understand that God is bigger than that. And you, we need to understand what grace truly, truly is. See, I want you to face it. Face it today. Face it this evening. Face it now. What you've been lying to yourself about, what you've been lying about that you're trying to make yourself feel better about who you are, face it. Face it now. The person you're denying. The false reality you've tried to create and the person you think you are when you really realize deep down inside once you get rid of all that cloud that you know exactly who you are. I'm a wasted mess too. Inside, deep. And I'm not proud of who I am. Not proud of my fears. Not proud of my insecurities. Not proud of all the mess that I've made in my past and otherwise. Not proud. Not proud of that at all. I think it's ugly. I'd rather deny it. I'd rather walk away from it. I'd rather create a new person try and step into that zone. But that's who I am. And that's still the person Christ loves and Christ redeems. That's still the person that God wants to hold. That's still the person that God loves. So seeking some acceptance, you contrived your fantasy of pride and illusion. You glamorized sin and lied. And now you're trapped in the cage of your own delusion. No longer free, love is strapped. Because fear tied the heart in the ropes of the lie. And then like a web you are wrapped, as shame chained up the truth you deny. Yet you think you have what you desired, but at the cost of feeling included. No longer your de unknowingly your deceit has conspired to drown your soul in the seas of confusion. So self-hate is the resulting conclusion as you continue to hate what you are. If only there were some sort of solution to stop me from drifting so far. Well, hope is at hand for salvation. God already knew you had lied. He wants you to face the situation. It's the only way to get off this crazy ride. You are who you are. You can't change it. This is the way you were made. And God sees. You can't be what you're not. So don't chase it. He loves you now. He loved you then. And who you'll be. So first you must see you are drifting. In the seas of the sins you have done. You must accept that it is you that needs lifting. And that is why Jesus had come. You did not deserve what he was giving. 
He came because he loved who you are. It is true that you are already forgiven. Please see that he thinks you're a star.